we are lucky to have made one contribution in our obviously lives and obviously to a large extent obviously that's our obviously working life well Estelle's been a very successful obviously lawyer and now is having a second life uh, as a successful charity trustee. It's in the name in the obviously Kiberia in need, uh, Kiberia uh, in Kenya, 20-25% of kids you know don't have a life expectancy of more than five years. You know, 60% of the um, inhabitants have HIV. It's like something you've never you've visited before. You cannot understand how this could possibly exist. Uh, we don't have anything approaching this anywhere in the UK. So you just feel you come away and you think, what difference can we make? Now myself, we, if you went there, you, you would probably come back, give some money to charity, and that would be it. But Estelle, she came back, single-handedly decided, OK, I'm going to make a difference. I'm going to set up a charity. I'm going to help those kids out there. I'm going to help those adults, and I'm going to go and get it done. Well, she came back, and um, then really looked at, well, how can we establish um, a connection between the UK fundraising and Riziki, which is a, the local provider and support network, and then design this guardianship scheme. We also do a secondary education, and we have this more microfinance scheme also, which we run in parallel with the education schemes to enable them to get more money into the family unit we don't try and just sort of plug a bit here or plug a bit there. We look at the sustainability issue. We look at how we can then motivate the families and really give them a sense of well-being and continue on. This charity would not exist without Estelle. From being involved in the fundraising to the admin to the trips that she makes on a regular basis to Africa, I mean, she's been involved in everything. So I suppose you could say she's the general factotum which is a lot more than that. I mean, she is really the heart and soul of the charity. What makes Estelle unique is her leadership skills, her ability to pull together disparate teams has been really good. Her just bloody mindedness almost, just to drive stuff through. You know, she's had a successful career as a lawyer. She could have continued that. She's chosen to take a back seat from that and to think about others mm -hmm. and to have achieved what she has done in a, in a relatively short obviously, period of time and then to have affected people's lives in the way she has is truly inspiring.